On the same side of liabilities, we have ownership claims. This is capital the firm technically owes to shareholders. The firm won't repay shareholders literally, but will try to pay them a decent amount of dividends if its business succeeds over the years. Most frequently, ownership claims are referred to as shareholders' equity. Okay, let's see which of the sub-items the equity account is made of. Typically, we would have paid-in capital by shareholders, the firm's starting capital, and any money that comes in later if shareholders decide to increase capital. Retained earnings. These are the profits that have not been distributed as dividends, and the firm has accumulated as equity. Think of these as sort of a reinvestment on behalf of shareholders. They have decided they don't want to distribute dividends and instead prefer to fuel the growth of the business with these funds. Retained earnings represents the sum of net incomes generated in previous years and not distributed to shareholders. It makes sense, right? And finally, net income, the profit we've made this year. By default, it is part of equity, because this is income that belongs to shareholders. It is also what connects directly the P&L and the balance sheet. All the profits made by the company are directly added here. And if the company produces losses, then they decrease this amount. Okay, perfect. We can wrap it up here. These are some of the most frequently seen balance sheet items. I am sure that after the last few lessons, you'll have a better idea of their meaning. We are always open to questions you might have, so if you would like to ask us something, please don't be shy and post your questions in the course discussion board.